In this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the most underrated areas and spaces on the field that you can attack in Madden 23. And it is um, kind of, I think, honestly, like it's the, the place that you actually see most passes completed, but most people don't actually design route combos to get this stuff open. And so we're gonna show you how to do that in this video. We're gonna be in the bunch tight end formation today. If you wanna get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon for just $10. You're gonna get access to all of my full schemes, offensive, defensive ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks. The link's in the description if you wanna sign up. Uh, but we're taking a look at PA boot over or PA all cross. You can really do this out of any play in the formation, but it's really the best I think out of this PA all cross play. So uh, first and foremost, we wanna run this. Ideally, we wanna have our tight end on the wide side of the field when we run this play. Um, so ideally you want to run it to the left hash. And basically um, the setup is essentially this. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to take this um, slot receiver here and we're going to put him on a streak. And then what I like to do is we're going to put this backside uh, player here on some type of hitch and then we are going to post our tight end. Now you can change who's on the hitch. So like in this example here, if you wanted to do it like this, that's fine. You can do it like this as well. But basically what this does is it gives us an ability to attack a very critical, um, a very, very critical space on the field that is oftentimes not really attacked well at all. And that is this space right here. So the space, most uh, more specifically, if you look here, it's not necessarily the sideline. Like ideally, we don't want to throw this on the sideline. We can, but ideally, we want to throw the ball before this tight end gets to the numbers. So we want to throw the ball somewhere in here. This is even a little bit late. Against man, it's a little different, but against zone, you really want to throw this kind of in this pocket. I'm going to explain why. So what will happen um, a lot of the times is let's say that we're playing someone and they're running, you know, a cover two or whatever, okay? If you watch this cloud flat on the left, you'll notice here that you see how the hitch, now there's two things that's really important. So the first is, yes, the cloud flat picked the ball, okay? Um, because he was able to lurk down. A lot of this depends on the vertical hook. The other thing that's really interesting, if you watch this hitch, so right about here, okay, watch about here. See how he's breaking here? If I keep waiting, this is gonna be open over in this pocket, okay? So that's a piece of the puzzle. Um, another thing would be to, to put a flat out there. And so now what's gonna happen, again, provided that you, know, you do something like this, is you'll see here that now there's all this space right there as you can see, okay? So those are a couple things to keep in mind. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this concept is a lot of people like to do this to take away, like this will take away a lot of what people like to do at Madden, um, something, something that looks kind of like this, okay? So they double flat on the left. Uh, they might even have a vertical hook here, and then they're gonna have a flat over here. This is a really good zone then but don't break coverage defense with the user in the middle of the field. But if you think about it, the user is going to have to dive down onto the circle receiver when he comes across on his in route. And so this is where this um, hitch is really valuable because if you watch, he dives there, we wait, we can throw it kind of right in there and ag it, and there is a little pocket that you can catch it. Now, if they're not running, um, if they're not running a true like drop eight double Mabel, they're just running double Mabel, uh, they're not running a true double Mabel, they're just running double Mabel, right? So maybe they're sending four. This is not a bad uh, defense by any means because it takes away both of the deep sidelines it does leave the user in the middle of the field again. So the user is going to have to choose. Am I going to guard the post? Am I going to guard the other route, right? This is where this is an extremely valuable concept because if you watch here, these flats are going out. I can throw this in that pocket. Man, that corner's going nuts. I can throw that in that pocket before, um, before the guy gets there, basically, okay? Now, last thing I did want to show you about this uh, hitch is if you put it from this outside guy, typically the cloud flat will suck down a little bit more so. So you see there, see how he's sucking down? And then it leaves him out of position, and then you can throw that over the top of his head, 
okay so that's another one that's really good uh for attacking this this is also really extremely effective uh if your opponent is blitzing so like if they're sending heat so maybe they're doing a defense this is pretty common like maybe doing something like this is pretty not you know uh let me do it like this actually you know so something like this and they're sending heat and they're going to use her in the middle again you are have you do have a six man pass protection okay so it's all about where the user goes where does the user go and you look here you've got your drag and you've got your post and either one is going to be wide open now the other thing that's really interesting is you can actually put a crosser to the tight end and the crosser will oftentimes get there faster um so you see like right here crosser is going to get across faster and you see we're able to throw that against any kind of hard flat coverage or anything like that so this play is absolutely critical to have in your arsenal and again you can you get to decide like are you going to put a flat out here or are you going to leave it as a slant or are you going to put it as an in but basically the idea if you think about carmichael is carmichael is attacking over the middle of the field now the other thing that you can also do with this is this is where a heart um or this is where a flat is really good so if you want to use a flat and let's say they are running like a really um heavy mabel concept i call it a heavy mabel concept where they're really dropping like they got the vert hook over there you know what i mean they got every, they got everything over there okay what's really hard is that the user runs down like this i'll show you something interesting so um if the user runs down like that or even if they don't what you'll see here is if i flick the right joystick to the right it's going to playmaker that receiver and now i can throw him across the middle of the field and that hitch is going to turn into an in route but it's a delayed in route and the zones drift away from it that's actually a really underrated like piece of the puzzle um another thing you can do is if you wait for a circle to get across then you do the playmaker he will run as well so um it allows you to attack kind of a, a soft spot in terms of you know what they can actually defend defensively this will allow you to do that and then if you have like a slant or something like that it gives you a better read uh it gives you just something better against man coverage so that's the idea we want to try to attack that mid-range area of the field because the mid-range area of the field is the most likely um that they're not going to have a zone there uh they just typically won't you know even an example like like this would be another example of attacking the middle of the field you got the ghost route you got the hitches and then you have the um the post okay so attack the middle of the field it's the most underrated space on the field to attack thanks for watching the video if you want to get my entire bunch tied in offensive ebook head down to the description and go click the link down below